Todd Sexton has proven himself a fighting champion. And Kenny Omega better step it up a notch. He has to go above his A game here if he's going to try to take this TV title away from the technician Todd Sexton. And like you said, the X Factor, Al Getz, the leader of Al Getz Enterprises in his corner. That's a winning combination there, Prezak. Uh, I, I guess the only winning combination is Al Getz brought that smelly old bowling shirt back with him, too. As, uh, I wouldn't call that a winning combination. So don't they, somebody buy him some Tide, will you? Good heavens. And as you see, Al Getz looking on as Todd Sexton applies the hammerlock to Kenny Omega, driving him right down the mat, showing why they call him the technician Todd Sexton. Kenny Omega looking for a way out here. Referee Mike Posey right in there, making sure everything's clean, making sure Omega's not in the ropes. That is, I mean, Kenny Omega, we're talking about a gentleman who performs quite often all throughout Canada. Oh, recently in the NWA uh, it's anniversary show, uh, uh, came out incredible for a fine performance against P.D. Williams of NWA TNA. And Omega's made out of some strong stuff, and I'm pretty sure that Todd Sexton knows very little about Kenny Omega, and the element of the surprise might be key in this battle. I don't let that fool you. Let me tell you something. That's the reason Al Getz is there. That's the reason Todd Sexton has been successful as he has. I'm pretty sure he has scouted Kenny Omega, but the, you know the fact that he has not been in the ring with him might weigh in a little bit there, but let me tell you something. Todd Sexton is a true competitor. He's a true champion, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him walking out of here tonight once again with that TV title, as always. This track record's pretty incredible. You very well be right, but you, John Johnson, but dealing with the unknown factor, again, as we're talking about, we're talking about Al Guest being sort of an X factor to a degree, but I mean, Kenny Omega, an, an athlete that you and I are not too familiar with, or we're getting a trial by fire without a doubt, and so far, he definitely has his wrestling smarts and, and a bit of a technician himself. And right there you go. Todd Sexton reversing the hold right back into a standing side headlock. Kenny Omega had the advantage there ever so slightly. Runs him off, comes in. Shoulder tackle, sends Omega down. Todd Sexton up and over. Big leapfrog. Omega went for the kick. Todd Sexton went for the headlock, but right there into the leg, the head scissors. And Omega with a... Right here, action, fast and furious. I can hardly keep up with it there, Prezak. Well, well, that's your job is to keep up with it. I'm sorry there, John. Uh, the, the clock is ticking. You're, you're on the clock, aren't you? Uh, aren't you on your yeah. wheel? Getting paid for this? Regard on, yeah. Paid? Wrestling? You're dreaming, Pally. Looks like Todd Sexton is having his hands full of one Kenny Omega and deciding to maybe uh, ease up the momentum on uh, Mr. Omega by taking a bit of a breather. And this right here, this is where Al Getz has benefited Todd Sexton. In the past, Todd Sexton would have rushed right back in into the unknown. Al Getz is out there to give him the cooler head, and as they say, cooler heads prevail, and right here we're seeing that from Todd Sexton. I thought Al Getz and cool heads were mutually exclusive terms, until tonight apparently. But look at Todd, I mean look at Al Getz. The man's cool. I, I don't want to look at Al Getz. Can we look at something else, particularly maybe Todd Sexton, the technician, putting the NWA World TV title on the line here tonight, and uh, Kenny Omega. This is the opportunities don't come around too often. Mr. Omega, boy, Omega getting the legs up. Big foot right in the face of Todd Sexton. Omega flipping over effortlessly over the World TV Champion and a hip toss from the challenger. Make that a pair. And Todd Sexton is being rocked by Kenny Omega here tonight on the wild side. Now what Todd Sexton needs to do right here, right now, is he needs to grab some hair or poke him in the eye. That's how you get control of this match back again. Oh, Greco-Roman moves, pulling hair. Poking eyes. That's why he's a technician. Pulling hair and poking eyes is, is, is a technique, huh? Well, I guess it is, sort of. And it's an you know, like Fans here at the NWA Arena firmly behind Omega. As Todd Sexton puts the brakes on. Oh, dear, an inverted atomic drop. And followed, followed, oh, yeah, good heavens. Go for it, John. Followed up by a swinging neck breaker right there. Todd Sexton once again trying to gain control in this one. As Kenny Omega in the corner right now, Todd Sexton going right after him, doing what he has to do to hold on to this TV title, and right there driving the foot right into the Adam's apple of Kenny Omega as Mike Posey trying to get some kind of uh, semblance of order here from Todd Sexton. Yeah, that might be a tall order indeed as uh, Todd Sexton, I think, is beginning to taste some blood. Sternum first when Kenny Omega now sets him up on the top rope. Hanging him up in the proverbial tree of woe. Oh, Kevin Sullivan, what have you, you're 
right there, and Todd Sexton staying with that sternum, trying to take the air from Kenny Omega. I think the air is successfully taken away from Kenny Omega, perhaps ripe for the pinning. As Sexton putting Omega in pinning position, still some life left in the challenger. And as of late, that's very uncharacteristic of Todd Sexton. He has made a habit of making his opponents tap out in the middle of the ring. But you do whatever you can to hold on to that title. I'll tell you what I think that is very characteristic of something that's going on a wild side right now is Al Getz Enterprises, of which uh, Todd Sexton is, and of course, part of. Things are really going Al's way. Al is claiming to have taken the NWA elite out of the picture. Oh, he six is a press of rogue. A, a swift kick that unfortunately just staggered briefly Todd Sexton, the second one that did a hell of a lot more damage. And Omega. Sunset flip taker one, two. We, we were that close to having a new champion. What a major upset. Goes for the move again, Todd Sexton. Oh, a standing freestyle ends with Gary right clocking Kenny Omega, the challenger to the world TV title right on the temple. Lateral press. It's an age-old adage, but you gotta hook that leg. I mean, no matter how lightly you take your competitor, you gotta hook that leg. It's all about the titles, it's all about the money. And how, how Getz can let Todd forget that is beyond me. Mm, I think in the heat of the battle, you sometimes you make some uh, uh, strange little decisions that Omega, oh, the big, big mistake there. And has him set up in that Cobra Clutch maneuver. Has him down. Referee Mike Posey in there checking, making sure it's not a choke and it's not a choke. Yeah, perhaps maybe a version of the old Shannon Umaki. A variation on a on an old time honored great. As right. referee Mike Posey in to make sure that Kenny Omega is not going to submit, then Omega is pretty much far from submitting here. Pair of elbows shaking off Sexton. Omega from behind. Looked like he was going to go for a German suplex. Yeah, there. perhaps. But the points sort of moot now. But a clothesline staggering Kenny Omega, the challenger to the World TV title. Big forearm from Omega leveling the champion and a high knee. And right now, Kenny Omega has had a fire lit up underneath him. Kicked down low into the abdomen area, hits the opposite ropes. Right there, a, a version, I guess, of a bulldog, you could say. What, well, did you see Sexton's head bounce off the, uh, off the apron? Good heavens, only a two count. In a matter of 30 seconds, Todd Sexton took four or five major shots to the head with the kicks and then followed up with that bulldog. Todd Sexton's gotta be in La La Land right about now. Mm. Boy, and Al Getz perhaps might be feeling that NWA World TV title perhaps slipping away before our very eyes. Could that be? Could the, could the lucky streak end here? When you're hot, you're hot. And right now, it looks like Al Getz may be going cold. Kenny Omega hooking Todd Sexton, full Nelson over. Northern Lights, one, two. Almost oh, there. What a fraction of a second away from a new TV champion. And it's Al Getz is creating hash marks before our very eyes as Kenny Omega practically became the NWA World TV Champion just a, just a minute ago. And right now he's got Todd Sexton up. Todd Sexton is against the ropes. Todd Sexton is out on his feet. He's got to do something desperate here. Kenny Omega's got this crowd behind him. Oh, and that elbow drove him right in the corner. Hits the ropes. Ah, super kick from Todd Sexton. On, a, on an already bloody Kenny Omega. And only a two count all. And Sexton perhaps has designs on a sharpshooter. No, make that a cross face. Has him down right there. I'm assuming our, our vantage point is somewhat obscured. And how smart was that from Todd Sexton going right to the move? Almost immediately after the pin was, you know, the pin was broken up. Todd Sexton went right for it before Kenny Omega had a chance to get a second win. And right here goes right back to that modified version of that crossface. Has the legs hooked. Kenny Omega's reaching for the ropes. Mike Posey's right there, but Todd Sexton turns him around. And Kenny Omega taps. Let's go down to Nigel Sherrod for the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, and still, NWA World Television Champion, the technician, Todd Sexton. And Al Gantz, of course, winning two. And TV title to his client, Todd Sexton. A valiant effort, actually a rather incredible effort from Kenny Omega here tonight. But only one man can emerge as champion, and that shows you why Todd Sexton's got the goods.
We'll have more for you coming up on NWA Wildside.